Welcome to the world of Teleria, an ancient land with its own peoples and races, and millennia of history. In this series, we're going to dive into the unique world and lore that exists within the Raid universe. This episode focused on Kale and Elhane, and the bitter gulf between the Dark Elves and the High Elves. Never trust a blood traitor. Kale, a Dark Elf, discovers a lost history that could heal the divide between the Elves, together with the High Elf, Elhane. But he is seemingly deceived. But who are the Dark Elves, and what caused the Great Rift between them and the High Elves? What is the root of their darkness? Let us explore how they came to exist within Teleria. At first, there were only Elves. It was not until the Age of Treachery that Siroth, the God of Shadow, birthed the Dark Elves. Looking to sow discord within the Elven Kingdom of Aravia, he appeared to many Elves in dreams as the enigmatic Dreamwalker, a beguiling figure who showed them the forbidden power of shadow magic. While many rejected the Dreamwalker's words, he found allies among the disenfranchised, the greedy, and the reckless. With shadow magic at their fingertips, these elements of Elven society coalesced and became a disruptive force. As they began to cause chaos, the King of Elves enacted a brutal crackdown. Riots led to open fighting quickly across Aravia. Soon, full-blown civil war emerged between those who supported the king, who called themselves High Elves, and those who believed in the words of the Dreamwalker, who became known as the Dark Elves. The destruction wrought on both sides was staggering, shattering the unity that Aravia had enjoyed for eons. After years of brutal conflict and stalemate, both sides came to the negotiating table. While a peace was eventually negotiated after several conclaves and conventions, it was an acrimonious one. The Dark Elves were exiled and most went to the twisted Durham Forest, where they formed a ruthless society built on greed and blood. The literal darkness of the forest, the taint of their shadow magic, and their new diet of horrid fungi, bugs, and other vegetation physically transformed the Dark Elves too, turning their skin pale or even a dark blue. Between the constant warring between dark elf houses and the unnamed horrors that dwell within the deepest thickets, Durham Forest is not a place for the faint of heart. As tempers run high and Kale is driven by what looks like a bitter betrayal, look carefully for this week's code. The writing may be on the wall. While Kale's hatred for the high elves sears his soul, what of Elhane and her fate? Will the two be able to make amends and show that reconciliation is indeed possible between the elves? If you want to discover more about the Dark Elves and their fierce struggles, read the bios of Kale, Lydia the Death Siren, and Mithrala Lifebane in the Champion Index in-game. Or follow the links in the description for more resources. Be sure to like and subscribe for more Raid Call of the Arbiter content.